And it's the day. We're going to start planting here in the greenhouse. Yeah, finally. Jose and I are going to work together on these ones because it'll be easier to have two people pulling out. These are paper pot transplanter. Today is Jose and I's fifth wedding anniversary. Five years. I was married. We've had a goal for a few weeks now that we've wanted to separate out specifically some chickens we're going to use for meat breeding. Yep. We use this in the summer to move the rabbit every day. We had a flat tire on the uh, buck, uh, Cluckingham Palace. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to go get the fence posts. Nice. So we have to pick up 90 of them, but uh -huh. that means three trips because this truck will not carry 90 fence posts. No. Good morning. Good morning. It is March 6th. Yeah. And it's the day. We're going to start planting here in the greenhouse. Yeah, finally. Yeah, we have a lot of work to do though because we just ordered a thermostat that will keep it just above freezing in mm -hmm. here. So right at 35. And so Jose, it's supposed to arrive tomorrow. So Jose is going to have to get that hooked up tomorrow. Tonight we're going to have to run it higher than that because the thermostat in here only goes to 45 right now, right? Yeah. Um, so for one night, we'll have to keep it a little bit warmer in here. Uh, so what needs to happen is this whole side here, we're going to use all of these raised beds for some cool season crops. Uh, spinach, kale, bok choy, lettuces, all going to go over in here. Jose's mm -hmm. going to even do some carrots and some uh, radishes, which I'm very excited about. We have mm -hmm. green onions ready to go in. Mm -hmm. So we're going to fill up this side. Then we're going to move all of these green pallets that we have mm -hmm. here and over here. They're going to get moved over here because once we start really doing our seeding, which is next week, uh, this area then will become our seed tray area once they've germinated in the germination room. Mm -hmm. And we'll keep it warmer over here, especially once the tomatoes and peppers are in. And then we need to fill these beds with 301, which is our planting mix that we have, just to get them ready for the plants. And then hopefully this afternoon, it is already 70 in here. What time is it? Um, 3.35. 10.35? Uh -huh. So 10.30 and it's over 70 degrees in here. So it's going to be probably 90 in here today, Yeah. which is going to actually be way too warm for our cool season crops. Luckily, we have a big door here and we have a door there that we can open. Eventually, we have plastic that separates this side from that side. And so mm -hmm. that'll get lowered because we'll keep this side warmer. And as long as this side stays at just above freezing, literally it can be at 30 to 32, right in that area, it'll be warm enough in here that... Uh, the spinach will be on the outside walls, uh, yeah. so it doesn't care if it gets <laughs> freezing or slightly below. Yeah, and then, oh, I can't wait. We're going to have fresh greens in just a couple of weeks. Now I'm in the germination room. Most of this, what's growing in here right now is going to go out to the greenhouse, but we're going to keep a few things in here. So we have sage and basil that'll stay in here because it's just not warm enough out there yet. Uh, we've got thyme and oregano will stay in here, but the spinach will go out. We have bok choy. We have uh, kohlrabis. I've got some dandelion growing that we like to use for our shakes. And then we have little cabbages, minis, like minuet. And then we've got salad mix, kale, Swiss chard, beets, and then some bigger lettuce heads and broccoli. Uh, and then cilantro and onion. So all that's ready to go out today. We're gonna, Jose and I are gonna get all these trays moved. Jose, uh -huh. how does it feel to have green stuff in here again? Um, I feel like this summer will be soon here now. I'm so excited to have greens in here. So now we're gonna get the trays in here. We're gonna water them and let them soak for lunch. And then after lunch, we'll plant. So the first thing we're going to do is some spinach on this last row because spinach can handle pretty cold temperatures. And uh, this is the furthest away from the heater and closest to the wall. So we are going to do the spinach here. Jose and I are going to work together on these ones because it'll be easier to have two people pulling out. These are paper pot transplanter. I knew we couldn't use it in here, but uh, I put them in here because it's easy to pull them out and plant them. So we're going to give this a try. All right. Just remember you've got that 4x4 four four right there. Yeah, and that's going to be way deep. I feel like. Alright, so this is going to be space. 
And then we're going to also do some seeding. Jose, what are you going to seed in here? I'm going to seed in uh, um, carrot and radishes. Yeah, so hopefully we'll have some nice early season crops out of our heated greenhouse. That's the project today. And this poor guy here has been living <laughs> in the greenhouse for the last few weeks because he's been in quarantine. Uh, but he's getting kicked out today. Today is... Monday. March 11th. Mm -hmm. Today is Jose and I's fifth wedding anniversary. Right, yes, I miss my ring. Yeah, where is, <laughs> yeah, we don't usually wear our rings because it's too hard in the dirt all yeah. the time. But we do love each other. Yeah. Happy anniversary. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I love you. Okay, back to work. Yep. <laughs> So today we have a lot of small projects. Well, this week we have a lot of small projects we need to work on. Uh, Stephanie and I separated out some meat chickens that we want to use specifically for breeding meat birds. So mm -hmm. I'm going to take you guys in there and show you them because we haven't yet shown you which ones we separated out. Mm -hmm. All right, so Stephanie and I are in the barn today. We have been, we've had a goal for a few weeks now that we've wanted to separate out specifically some chickens we're going to use for meat breeding. Yep. And so you're here to help me do that. Yeah, we're going to catch, I don't know, as many chickens as we need, make sure that they're nice and meaty and that they'll be easy to uh, process as well. Yeah, because our goal has been for the last couple of years is not to bring any chickens onto the property. I hate shipping in chicks. I really do. I just think it's, um, I don't know. It just, we lose so many of them that I think it's just better. And last year we didn't lose any chicks once they hatched. So I'm very happy to be doing it this way. And so we're picking out birds that specifically are meaty uh, to try to start developing our own meat birds here on the property. Yeah. All right, so uh, you brought your chicken catcher because mm -hmm. we let the chickens out today, unfortunately. And so now we have to catch some chickens. All right, well, let's have some fun. All right, we're gonna start by picking out the roosters. Let's find two roosters we really like and then we'll work on them. Okay, so these were two of the roosters we were considering. This guy is a straight American breast. This guy, I believe, is American breast by, um, uh, what are the ones with the feathery feet? The, uh, the Mara or the, oh, jeez. Well, anyway, he's an American breast cross. And, uh, oh, Brahma. Brahma. I think he's a Brahma American breast cross. He feels much meatier in the breast than this guy. This guy mm -hmm. feels pretty sunken in, in my opinion. Um, and I haven't been a huge fan of the American breasts across the board. Like, I just feel like they don't overwinter up here. But the Brahmas do a really great job. And so I think... His comb's nice and small. Yep, I like that, because you definitely want small combs. His yep. is huge. And look at these. Yep. I don't know what are these called. Waddles. Yeah. Waddles. His are huge and his are small. So I think yeah. uh, for one group, this may possibly be one of the roosters we're keeping. Yeah. Um, so let's throw him in here for a minute. <laughs> Hey, excuse me, Toronto. All right, buddy, you got to get away from the door. Okay, I know, buddy, it's going to be a hard life. Okay, so let's, um, there's another American breast up there, but let's go over on this side and see what we have for roosters. Okay. Yeah, he's the uh, old one, yeah. Is he an old one? Yeah. Is this Jerry? Yeah, yeah, Jerry, I think. All right. Well, I'm not. He, I'm not overly impressed with his breast for sure. He's. Oh yeah. He's yeah. All right. So you're a no go. <laughs> this guy though is nice. He's huge. Yeah. I think he's a, and he's also a Brahma cross. I'm pretty sure. Um, I don't know what he's crossed with, but I think he's a good option. Um, I don't know that anybody else in here is, but I would kind of want to try to feel out that other. I'm gonna go get your stick. Sorry. Okay, look at this thing. This is a chicken catcher, yeah. and this just hooks the leg. It's pretty interesting. Uh, it takes some practice. Yeah, it does. You got to hook kind of high on the leg so you get like the knee joint. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm gonna do some practicing. <laughs> All right. Let's bring him over with that other rooster, and then we'll come pick out some him. Right, so I also thought I would take a minute and show you the birds we chose as our meat birds. 
So this is probably the one of the largest roosters we have. He is probably a Brahma cross. Not sure what he's crossed with. Uh, but he has a very large breast. Um, nice big body on him. And then we chose several females, uh, hens to go in here with him. And so we've been keeping them separated and we're keeping their eggs. We're getting a couple of maybe 10 eggs a day out of these two groups. So he's got seven hens in with him. And then we have seven hens over here, I think. Let's see. One, two, three. Yeah, seven hens over here. And so this is a American breast rooster cross. I don't think he's a pure. I think he's out of our batch last year, but he's also a very good sized rooster. And then we put in seven hens with him, all that are either mixes or pure American breasts over here. And just some nice large birds. So we are keeping these eggs and they're gonna go in the incubator and this will be our meat birds for the season. Uh, but nice looking birds in here. So hopefully we get some uh, nice meat birds this year. And then what we'll do is the nicest of these birds we'll keep for breeding next year. Because what we're finding is we raise our own birds for pet food uh -huh. and we are going through a lot. Yeah. It takes a lot of birds to uh, do your own meat. Yeah. So we are finding that it's taking way more than we think. So what we're also gonna do is maybe pull out some eggs and start a batch right now in the incubator that will be ready to go out on pasture in like a month and a half mm -hmm. uh, if we get them in today uh, or tomorrow. So I think we're gonna work on that to get those in the incubator. Then I have some more planting I wanna do in here. I just wanted to take a minute and show you all the different stuff I've planted. And this is all stuff that has to be done pretty quick because uh, we need this space for all of our trays in about uh, four to five weeks. This side, that side will need it in three weeks. So it's just stuff that's gonna be done really quick and ready to go uh, almost immediately for our members. So this is some romaine lettuces, greens and reds. These are beets here. These are red and green butterheads here intermixed. And then these are some large bok choys, which are my favorite. And then here I have green onions. Did a whole bed of those. Hopefully we'll get some. All right. Then over here we have kohlrabis. And then I have just a little bit of cilantro planted along the edge here. And then these are uh, some baby broccoli, so these will have a lot of sprouts off the side, but not a big head and I did those in here just for They're really quick to grow out and then I have more beets interplanted in here just to cover the soil Over here we have a bunch of kale varieties uh, That go all the way down to where the Swiss chard is and I interplanted these with dandelion We like to use dandelion in our shakes, so I put that in here and then here we have more cilantro interplanted, which Jose loves cilantro. Then on this end bed here, we have two baby um, bok choy varieties, which these will be ready pretty quick here. These red ones are maybe even ready. Uh, they don't get super thick here. It gets too hot too quick. Um, so we just pick them early and eat them in salads. Then these are some cabbages I'm just finishing up and they're miniature cabbages, so they're not full size heads. They're ready within a few weeks uh, and I love them. Then in these last two beds over here, these are radishes that have not yet come up, but they're just barely starting to sprout. We could see them a little bit today. And then spinach is there. Here we did carrots and they won't be up for a while. Uh, but we did just baby carrots. They're 35 days to uh, harvest, which I never find that to be quite correct, but we need something short day in here, so it'll be fun just to have some little fresh carrots to eat. And then here we have salad mix, and I planted the rest of the cilantro right along the edge here. So lots going on in here. Ooh, love this time of year. All right, and what are you going to work on today? Uh, well, I I think you need help with the incubator, no? Yeah, we need to move the incubator inside because right now it's in the garage. And the temperatures this time of year are so low mm -hmm. 
uh, that we want to bring that inside just to help keep the fluctuations from happening during the day and at night. Um, it just helps maintain the temperature in the incubator, yeah. I believe. And then you had another project you wanted to work on. This is our um, the um, rabbit uh, tractor. We use this in the summer to move the rabbit every day. So, um, so for uh, to move, we use this little uh, dolly I put underneath, and then I push it. Sometimes it's hard. Right now it's not too heavy, but when it's full with um, maybe uh, four rabbits and the babies, it is heavy. <laughs> So now I had I had to uh, fix this uh, this door because the wind, you know, sometimes cause the wind here and blowing out everything. So far, I have a, uh, done one side, but right now uh, it is uh, lunch time, so I'll I going to get my lunch, <laughs> and uh, then I will and then I will be back back. Yeah, I will uh, put them on those uh, wheels in the trailer. Yeah, we had to. Uh, we had a flat tire on the uh, buck, uh, Cluckingham Palace, <laughs> <laughs> so we pulled the, both tires off. We're replacing both wheels because we mm. don't know how old they are, and if yeah. one went flat, I'm assuming the other one eventually will. So we're replacing both of those. Jose wants to get that moved uh, because we need to put plastic down for that garden bed to get them covered. Yeah. Um. So that's on the agenda. Here, let's see what else is on the schedule for this week. Oh, I know we need to go pick up fence posts Yeah, because we are uh, getting to the point where we're about to start doing fencing. Where are we going? Ooh, we're gonna go get the fence posts. Nice. So we have to pick up 90 of them, but uh -huh. that means three trips because this truck will not carry 90 fence posts. No. It would be riding like this, <laughs> which would not be fun. All right, let's, let's go. go. So how many? gallon of sap we got yesterday. Ooh, yesterday we collected 315 gallons of sap. That's a good day. Today probably will be the same. I think today's gonna, it was still dripping good when we were done last night so I think it'll be another good day today for sap for sure. Yep. And what else you have to do today? You are going some, somewhere now? Oh yeah, I'm just to go to the school today. I need to check the email to see if Abby sent me an email. We, uh, Jose and I are the farmers for one of the local schools, so we go into their science class mm -hmm. and talk to them about farming. They applied for a grant this year, so we were helping out with those, with their grant proposals. And today I'm going over because they want to talk about what to put in their, high, or their hoop house or high tunnel they have at the school. So I'm going to help out with that. Nice. Yeah, it'll be fun. Okay, we are back. Some help? Probably. <laughs> All right, one more load. Let's go do it. One more. We're also going over to my dad's today to pick up the door and a few other things to start putting up the walls on the member area or the farm store. Mm -hmm. 
I need to breed rabbits. Today I'm breeding all of the does in this stack of cages here, all three of them. And then one from over here and uh, one other doe. I need to figure out on my sheet which one didn't breed last time. Uh, but we're going to try and get all of them bred. Make sure we get some litters this year. Top two. <laughs> The weather is warm enough now that we think we can probably put plastic on one of these hoop houses and also Farmer's Friend is incredible. We ordered stuff from them last week to do our new hoop house and it has already arrived. Yeah. So we can put the bows together for that this week if we have time. We have so many little projects. I feel like we're never going to get anything done. I need to put the shelves back on the in the germination room back on the shelves because now we cut it by half but mm -hmm. When we start seeding our onion trays at the end of this week, it is gonna be, it's just on its own, it'll be 50 trays of onions. So yeah. we need every single shelf in there uh, to be able to get all of these onions germinated. And my neighbor, Jamie, is coming to help me, which I love, she loves to come. It's so nice in the greenhouse working this time <laughs> of year because it's cold outside and beautiful in here. Yeah. So that needs to be done because we are seeding on Thursday and Friday this week, me and her her and I, her and I, and Jose might help out a little bit. Onions are uh, hard to seed. It's the little tiny black seeds and three per hole. It just takes a long time. It's very time <laughs> consuming. Um, so it's nice to have a team of people working on that. Yeah. We also have a lot of other things we're seeding this week, but that's just the start of it. Uh, let's see. I think that's it. There's another grant available that I'm working on for another high tunnel. And so that needs to happen this week because the deadline's coming up. And we, uh, I'm just waiting on some quotes mm -hmm. from some of the companies on high tunnels because mm -hmm. we need to know how much we're going to be spending. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's it. Right. Any other projects you want to talk about? No, I yeah. think we have enough for today. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be very busy this week.